What's up guys? So I'm gonna be doing a little video I guess tutorial? I don't know. But this is something I haven't really checked out in a long time. I don't know, it's been several years since I've touched this thing. I'm gonna be checking out Mugen, the 2D fighting engine. First we're gonna open up Opera GX. I really like this browser because it's you know great gaming related or gaming focused. So first we're gonna go to this search bar. Type in Mugen Elec by that's the creator or that's what the whoever calls or I don't know if it's one person or more than one but who knows but that's the name and it's still up the website huh Mugen make your own 2D fighting engine so yeah it's basically a customizable 2D fighting engine I used to mess around with it just making characters fight each other or you can watch or you can add your own character and practice and you know you can do all kinds of stuff add stages backgrounds screen whatever even add background music on the stages you know stuff like that and yeah i think you can edit if you know how to edit some of the sprite characters and then you can change so basically it's what it says if you're upgrading from older version of mugen please read the upgrade notes what does mugen stand for mugen let me yes mugen and or unlimited but what's I don't know exactly it doesn't really say I'm just gonna but it, like it says you can just read this is Mugen is a 2d fighting game engine that in that is enables you to create commercial quality fighting games Almost everything can be customized from individual characters to stages as well as the look and feel of the game. After downloading Mugen and zip it into a new folder and double click Mugen.exe to run. The majority of content created for Mugen tend to be distributed as individual characters, stages or motives. Assembling a game is as simple as downloading the content of your choice and configuring Mugen to, to know about it. Mugen is designed to be used by people with little or no programming experience. But with some artistic talent and patience to learn, of course, having some programming background does give you a bit of head start. However, if you're just looking to s to play with downloaded content, all you need to know is to unzip files and edit a text file. Here's a sampling of features you can find in Mugen. Customizable, customizable title screen, character select screen, life and bars, game sound effects, fonts and more. Characters can have any number of sound and sprites. Of any size is limited by your computer's memory. Choose from multiple resolutions ranging from 320 to 40 up to 1920 by 1080. Cutscenes, game engine. Use up to seven buttons for a character. Regular moves, special moves, super moves, etc. Projectile special effects, move cancels and combos, multi part moves and throws. When your character, what your character can do is this defined by script language and your imagination. So yeah, that's just the intro, but I don't think you can download here. Contents and files. So everything you need to know is in here, the tutorials. So you just click on one, two, three, four and all that. I'll go back here, but I don't know if there's a downloadable place. Hmm. You know what? Let's download, see if it's download. I'll add download here and see if I can download it. Mugen Builds, Mugen Archive. Let's go check that to see what we can find. I don't know. If you're gonna grab Mugen, make sure it's the latest build not the beta version but the stable one so you basically type in I'll type in Mugen 1.0 download that's the version so this is where I went to Mugen archive download download official Mugen 2 1.0 then you click on that well, this is the right one yeah okay here it is 
So you just look on over here. So you see this load share preserve Mugen for eternity. So you basically you go down here that says download official Mugen 1.0 by J uploaded by justice. So you click on this plus sign right here that says download. Click on that. And that should one megabyte. Oh wait, what? That's weird. Let's try again. Unregistered users may not download files larger than one megabyte. Huh. Well, that doesn't work. Let's try another one. Let's try this one. If this is, uh, let's hope this is the latest build. Sometimes it's not available on some websites. So I'm gonna try this one. This one is. What the? Basically, just look around here. It says Mugen. And then it says download right here. Click on that. Continue to download. Hey, what? Okay, once you're here, you just want to look around and then go down here on the right. And then basically, you click on. No. Oh. I'm trying to find. I think it's this one right here. Click on this download. And then you'll be in this new screen right here. Download version 1.0 from Software Informer. So, scan by, okay. Because the original Electbyte website is no longer working, so we're gonna have to use it this way. Then click download now. Just wait for it. <coughs> there you go, it's downloading it. So this is the, well you know it hasn't really been updated in a while so there's really nothing new with Mugen. So there you go, once it's done click on this folder right here and there you go, there's Mugen 100, drag that on the, see how I made the Mugen Neo folder, drag that there. I already have it so that's why it, did, it said that so once you download it I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one you go in here double click that and then here it is basically what you want to do is just right click and then you want to extract here boom Let's see I'll delete this so you, you guys can see what it is then right click extract here there you go if you want to delete this you can but I'll keep it for now double click that <clears throat> and here it is these are the files you want and then what you want to do is go down here go to Mugen see all these files are gonna be messing with later once I do that part of the tutorial see characters data and backgrounds and screen packs so what you want to do is to open this <coughs> first let me plug in the controller so I can use the controller there we go gotta use it so I can map it so double click on Mugen this is the application on right there that's the dot exe first I'll close this and this is it right here there you go so that's the one that says welcome to Mugen 1.0 so this is the one you want not the beta one I don't know it says it's not stable so this is the latest stable build new to Mugen read document meet the Mugen community elect by dot com to add a character extract it till it tells you what to do but I'll do that in another to add a stage extract it into stages into jars so it tells you where to put it current motive is Mugen 1 to make changes to this motive including the stacks open that so you know just read it and that's how you edit it but I'll do that in another video so once you're done reading all this you go down here and basically just press F1 on your keyboard there you go now it's ready 
Right now, the only thing working is the arrow keys, so I'm gonna go down to the to options. So, choose options, press enter, and then scroll down to input. That is if you want to use a gamepad. I'm gonna map it there. Input config, press enter, and then you wanna go to joystick config, not the key config, but see it's enabled if you want to disable it then you want to use the keyboard and if you want to enable it just right click on the arrow press right or left of the arrow arrow keys and then go down to joystick config and press enter and then what you want to do is config all so you press F1 and then you just map the buttons by pressing the ones you want so up down left right I'm gonna use this for that, 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 start. So once you're done, you wanna, I'm gonna use the arrow key, then go down, or you can just hit escape once you're done. ESC escape. And then you wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and use the gamepad. Return to options, choose that. And then if you wanna save that gamepad, input you just put you just go down here press right on the direct the d-pad the directional pad then it'll change to save and then press oh enter or x on this case it's a so option saved it's saved now so yeah next time you wanna press right so you can load that and then you wanna go to return to main menu and escape or you can just choose that and then we're gonna just test it out so you know there's different modes you can go to training watch options all that good stuff all right that way next time you start you're gonna be using your gamepad instead of so we're gonna go start something choose arcade right now we got these two guys kung fu man and upgraded up or hd kung fu man Kung Fu Man and his girlfriend were going for a walk. So there's no background music yet when they were attacked by the evil Swab dude and his minions. So there's really no characters here yet while Kung Fu Man was busy fighting off the minions. Let's go ahead and minimize this. Swab dude captured his girlfriend. <laughs> Look at the drawings. Determined to rescue his girlfriend. I mean it's just funny. I remember this. Kung Fu Man now sets off for Swab dude's secret mountain temple hideout. Kung Fu Man versus Kung Fu Man. Round one. Fight. Yeah, you know, I just mess around with the button to see what you can do. You got your kick. Ow. How do you... can you do Dragon Punch? Yeah, so... Basically... Using the gamepad, as you can see. Oh! How do you grab? K.O. Nice. Kung Fu Man wins. Round, Round 2. Fight! fight. So there's... Right now there's no background music. You only have your sound effects for the attacks. Ow! How do you do that? I'm sure there's like a tutorial to use the super... K.O. One, one, I want to challenge more skilled fighters. Alright, there you go. And it's just gonna keep fighting the same character. Round if you wanna fight. escape, you're, you hit escape on the keyboard and you're back here. Let's choose this one. 
Is that the HD? <laughs> Round one. Oh, Fight. 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 Can I juggle? Ah, oh, fudge. At least the throw works. KO. Nice. So I hit escape again if you want to go back to this screen. If you want to do versus mode with another player, just either have another person use a gamepad or plug in another gamepad and USB on your computer or or you let them use the keyboard. Team Arcade, basically you can team up, team co-op, see there's different steps, survival. If you want to train, you choose this and basically... Fight. I mean, you know, it's like the training thing. So you can hone your skills and then you don't get uh, the health recharges. Not like in Street Fighter. I think Moral yeah, Moral Combat has something similar. How do you do that super? If you want to exit, just hit escape. Alright, until next tutorial from Mugen. Later. I'll probably do another. Either charters or backgrounds or whatever. Later.